Hello children, today we are going to see about the Olympiad examination. So what is that Olympiad? You know, so Olympiad examination is the children to boost self-confidence, right? And you have to practice new skills and such as uh, reasoning, analytical and mathematical uh, sums and all you can develop and uh, you can solve the problems on time. Then you have to when you are doing for uh, competitive examinations means you are appearing for any competitive examination so this olympiad will be very helpful to you okay so these are all these why we are doing the olympiad yes how to prepare the olympiad how to crack the exam in the olympiad means so first of all you have to know the correct syllabus okay what actually you are going to study in the particular class so this is the first thing you have to know the second thing is you have to know the right book which book you have to refer and which book you have to practice worksheets everything you first of all you have to decide what you are going to do so then only you can enter into the olympiad and success the exam very easily okay so now in this in my vidya tuition center i am going to do that class 1 to class 4 complete details i am going to give okay it is like a series type so first class one i will start and up to class four i will be giving all the informations and all the sums i am going to do in the board okay so this is like from class one to four i am doing many type of uh, olympiad exams you have this is like imo international max olympiad ieo international uh, English Olympiad and IGKO International General Knowledge General Knowledge Olympiad and NSO is National Science Olympiad and NCO it is National Cyber Olympiad and ICO and ISSO will be different that is so that is uh, International Cyber Olympiad and International uh, what is that Social Studies Olympiad okay so these are different uh, types different subjects of Olympiad that you are going you, you can appear so in my videos all the videos you can see only imo okay international max olympiad only i am going to solve thoroughly all the problems you, i can do it so if you see the class one okay if you see the class one what are the syllabus you have so first you have to know that what is the syllabus right so i told you right what is the introduction what what you are going to do first of all i told you uh, what is that correct syllabus first you have to know and then you have to choose your correct book right book you have to do it okay so now class one for class one those who are going to first newly you are entering into that olympiad means right so you have to know the syllabus i told you right so first one is number sense number sense and second one is addition third one is subtraction and fourth one is length weight and comparison length weight in comparisons fifth one is time sixth one is money seventh one is geometrical shapes then logical reasoning so these are all these uh, the syllabus what you have covered in the class one okay and then the question pattern first of all i will tell you what the question pattern is uh, the question pattern will be differentiated into four parts first one is a logical reasoning logical reasoning and mathematical reasoning and third one is the everyday mathematics and last one is the achiever section again i'll repeat logical reasoning mathematical reasoning everyday mathematics and the last one is the achiever section okay so first logical reasoning 10 sums you have and mathematical reasoning 10 sums you have and uh, everyday mathematics 10 sums so 30 marks right each each one each question carries one one mark and the last one will be achiever section five questions only 
that will be having two marks totally will be each question will be having two marks so totally 40 marks you have okay so out of 40 marks how you can get it so according to your merit you will be getting that awards later yes guys so uh, this is the re first of all when you are watching my videos please take one note and pen with you right so because i am going to solve the problems you can do with me then only you can you can continue my videos okay okay fine so now logical reasoning in sense what type of problems you can meet logical reasoning first i told you then mathematical reasoning then what uh, everyday mathematics then achiever section yes so in the logical reasoning so this kind of problems you can see what is logically you can see the problem and write the answer okay it is not like addition subtraction not like that right so this is the logically you have to think and tell the answer see find first question find the number of triangles in the given figure this is a figure they will give you okay in this figure you have to find the number of triangles means this is a first triangle second triangle third triangle fourth triangle fifth triangle so how many triangles you have here fifth triangle so a option is right so before that first is the shapes you have to know so class 1 students you have to know about the shapes what is that circle circle means you know this is a circle the round shape is a circle and what is meant by triangles three sided figure it is a triangle okay and then what is meant by rectangle rectangle is like this two sides are equal opposite two sides are equal that is what is this a triangle sorry this is a rectangle and then this is a square all four sides are equal then we can tell this is a square okay so when you are entering into this, this type of problems you have to know what are all the shapes basic four shapes only circle triangle rectangle and square it is enough for you okay okay so this is logically you are dealing the question and then second question you see here if like this see three is there and then the in the triangle three is here in the right side part it is like a colored one and is related to this thing this triangle four you have they have written and the left side part they have colored it and then in the same way the circle is there left side eight they have written and right side they have colored it is related to how so this is the way how this first statement is there this related to this means and this related to what so you have the option here 8 means 3 means 4 it has there so 8 means next the same circle it should be 3 8 means 9 okay so left side part the right side part of the uh, shaded part it comes to the left side here again right side part it should come to the left side so your answer must be like this right so 8 must be next number of 8 is 9 because next number of 3 is 4 so right side means left side right side means again here left side so the a part is right okay and the next is mathematical reasoning everyday mathematics i am giving a sample question only later on we can do elaborately okay so mathematical reasoning uh, in that means you can do the addition subtraction this way you can deal with this we'll find the missing value it is what three tens and five ones plus three tens and two ones gives what okay three tens and five ones will what is that so 35 five ones and three tens 35 and three tens and two ones it is 32 so your answer is it is 3 tens and 2 ones and 3 tens and 5 ones, right? So your answer is 5 plus 2 is 7 and 3 plus 3 is 6, right? So your answer is 67. Okay.
So you're doing addition here. You're doing addition. Sometimes they may ask for subtraction also. You can get more number of sums in the mathematical reasoning. Don't worry, we will do it later. And everyday mathematics, everyday mathematics is daily in our home, how we are dealing with the mathematics, how we are counting the money. This way they will be asking some questions. Uh, Pooja bought the tennis ball at rupees 38, 38 rupees she bought it. She gave rupees 50, rupee, uh, rupees 50 to the shopkeeper. How much amount of money did she get back? Okay, so she gave rupees 50 to the shopkeeper. And the ball rupees is rupees 38. So how many, how much money the shopkeeper returns to her? So this way, so what you will do for this? So gets back. No? So rupees 50 minus 38, you have to subtract it. So you have to what? You have to take it. Take the uh, borrowing. No? So this is 10 minus 8 is, so 10 minus 8 is 2. And 4 minus 3 is 1. So, this is rupees 12 is your answer. Correct? You have to borrow from 10's place. So, 10, 0 makes it is 10. 10 minus 8 is 2. And 4, because already you, you have given to 1's. So, 10, 5 10's means you have given to 10 means. So, 5 minus 1 is 4. 4 minus 3 is here 1. So, rupees 12 is your answer for this. Okay, so mathematical reasoning and everyday mathematics, how the questions are coming only, I am telling you, right, we will be doing the class 1 in the next video, you will be having a separate, separate concept, I will tell you. Yeah. And then the last section is achiever section. I told you achiever section is a special section, right? Why? Because it is having, each question will be having two marks. Right, so which backers represent 4 tens, 9 ones, minus 1 tens and 3 ones. So what is this make? 4 tens, 9 ones is 49 and 1 tens, 3 ones which makes 13. So you have to subtract those numbers. What? 49 minus 13 you have to subtract it first. So 9 minus 3 is 6, 4 minus 1 is 13. Three. So, 36 is your answer. So, you have to check 36 in which abacus it is coming. Okay. So, you know the abacus. So, abacus will be having here two rods. So, first place is one's rod. Second place is tens rod. Okay. In the, this is a beads. Beads means this is a, what is the abacus number here? It is 1 and this is 4. It is 14, right? Okay. This is 1, 2, 3, 1. This is 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It is 36. This is this is 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 24 it is and 1, 2, 3, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4 it is 34. So, which number is, which is the answer here? So, we got 36. So, B option is right guys. Okay. So, this way you have to do more sums. So, again I will tell you the back sum and uh, to find the value of X and Y when you are doing subtraction and addition. Okay. Some values they won't give. So, you have to get it. So, this way of achiever, achiever section is little bit difficult. It's not that much. You can logical reasoning, mathematical reasoning, everyday mathematics and all, you can do it. But achiever section means you have to do lot of problems. Okay. Mathematics is nothing but you have to lot of do practice, practice, practice. Otherwise, it won't come. And then guys, if you practice this IMO, your academic side, it will be very easy for you. Nothing in that actually. If you do more problems in Olympiad, okay. So, if you are doing all the subject, IMO, whatever, NSO or IEO, if you are practicing lot, so then in your academic side, your CBSE or ICSE, what are the portions you are doing, it is easiest for you. It is very easy for you. Okay. So, you have to come out from your comfort zone and you have to sit and study. You will be definitely win the Olympiad exams. Thank you. To get more updates, please like, share and subscribe Vidya Tuition Center, Facebook page and YouTube channel. We are conducting online classes for all standards and all subjects. Please call us at 98861-34547 and WhatsApp call at 89711-28992. Thank you.